Lesson 22.2, we're going to solve equations by completing the square. And uh, what completing the square is, is it's just another method of solving uh, solving um, tri uh, or, uh, quadratic equations. And so um, just like uh, we were able to factor a quadratic equation, sometimes uh, you're unable to factor nicely. And so this is another method of finding the solution. So why is it called completing the square? Well, it's because if you were to visualize what it looks like to um, to to find the solutions for a quadratic equation, um, if you YouTube it, you'll find some videos on it probably, but uh, it, it actually looks like you're creating a square. And so hence, uh, hence the name completing the square. But um, we're unfortunately not going to be able to, to um, get into the... Uh, the conceptual ideas of, of what we're doing here um, due to time restrictions and and uh, what the curriculum designers for for our school have have done uh, we're only going through the procedural uh, aspects of this method so if you want to learn about or go more in depth uh, into the conceptual side of things ask your math teacher or um, look, look it up on YouTube or, or something right there's a whole world of education out there that that we can find for free nowadays. So uh, I encourage you to do that. But uh, for now, let's jump into the problem uh, and let's learn the procedure. So in this case, we uh, we just want to learn the basics of what it means to complete the square. So in this problem here, x squared plus 18x, we, we have two sections here, right? We have an A and a B. We don't have a C term, okay? So we're going to kind of create a C term almost out of thin air, right? It's going to seem like. So um, how do we create that C term? Well, Here's step one. We're going to take that B term, which is 18, and then we're going to fit it into this mold, B divided by 2, which in this case 18 uh, was B, so 18 divided by 2 is 9, and then we're going to square it, right? So uh, B over 2, or we, we just learned is 9, 9 squared, or 9 squared is 81. So 81, this term is what we're going to add to the end over here. So uh, B over 2 squared is 81. So we're going to tack it on to the end of this equation, which was the same as the one up here. Okay, So we have this new equation, x squared plus 18x plus 81. And then we're going to, and now we can factor this, right? Whereas before we couldn't factor it, we can, we're going to factor that. So uh, how do we do that? Well, here's a shortcut. b over 2 is 9, remember? And so, um, and x squared plus 18x plus 81. If, if you used um, the... Uh, the, the box method that we used earlier to factor, you would end up with x plus 9 squared. And where do you get that 9? Well, it's the same 9 from over here. You just plop into here, and um, it, it just happens to be uh, the, the uh, correct factored form of our new uh, equation where we completed the square. Okay, so let's try that again for question number 2. Here's the b term, negative 22. So the b term is negative 22. We're going to divide that by 2 and then square it. Negative 22 divided by 2 is, what, negative 11. And if we square that, we get 121. And then we're going to tack that 121 at the end of that equation here. We're going to put it right here. So we get x squared minus 22x plus 121. There's our new equation. And if we use the box method, what we will end up with is x minus 11 squared. And uh, how do I know that? Well, this negative 11 uh, conveniently will fit right in there. So x minus 11 squared. And if you multiply that, you will find that um, this it's going to equal this. Right? OK. All right, so let's actually see what it's like uh, in a, a real life equation, right? Sometimes you'll have equations like this that, um, in this form, in, in this current state, you cannot factor, and so we're going to solve this equation by doing uh, what's called completing the square. Okay, so first things first, we're going to rewrite this equation, right? The numbers, right? I mean, you can factor this, or you can uh, work with it in this format, but it's needlessly difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by 3 to get down to numbers that are, are a little bit more manageable and easier to work with. So divide this by 3, divide this by 3, divide this by 3, and I end up with x squared plus 8x plus 12 equals 0. So there's my equation. Uh, and then I want to rewrite this equation in this format where the c is going to be on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides, and I should end up with x squared plus 8x uh, equals negative 12. 
Okay. Now, now it's in a now it's in the form where we can actually start completing the square, um, and we're going to do that whole thing that we just learned. We're going to take that b term, which is eight, eight divided by two, and square it. Uh, and in this case, what is it? eight divided by two is four. Four squared is sixteen. So we're going to add sixteen to both sides. So um, we're going to take uh, x squared plus eight x. We're going to add sixteen to this side, and on the other side we have that negative twelve plus 16. So we've added 16 to both sides. So once you do that, you end up with x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals, what is this going to be, 4? Okay. Um, and then factor the expression to obtain. So we're going to factor this, right, because it is factorable now. And remember, it's just going to be x and whatever that inside term was, which is 4. x plus 4 squared equals 4. And then now we, we remember the the previous code we learned of how to how to uh, solve this by um, taking the square root. So we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to square root this side, square root that side. We get x plus four equals plus or minus two. And then you're going to have two solutions here. You're going to have uh, x plus four equals two, and we're going to have x plus four equals negative two. Subtract four from both sides. You end up with x equals negative two and what is this? X equals negative 6. So you have two solutions here. You have X equals negative 2 or, or and uh, X equals negative 6. Right? So we're able to find that solution by completing the square. Okay, cool. Uh, question B. Okay, so nothing to factor out from here. So we're going to rewrite this. We're going to add 7 to both sides. And we're going to end up with X squared minus 4X equals 7. And then we're gonna we're gonna complete the square. So we're gonna take that uh, in step two, negative four divided by two squared. So negative four divided by two is negative two. Negative two squared is four. So we're gonna add four to both sides. So we're gonna get um, x squared minus four x plus four equals seven plus four. And then uh, the new equation is gonna be x squared. Uh, minus 4x plus 4 equals, um, what is that, 11, okay? And then we're going to factor this side. Um, of course, so it's just going to be x minus 2 squared equals 11, right? So again, we just took this and we factored it into this form. x minus 2 squared equals 11. And then let's go ahead and square root both sides. We get x minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 11. And then you're going to have two versions, right? We're going to have x minus 2 equals square root of 11, and we're going to have x minus 2 equals negative square root of 11. And so um, I don't want to approximate this one. Let's just leave it as a square root. So we're going to end up with x equals 2 plus the square root of 11, and x equals 2 minus the square root of 11.